Hey guys, welcome back to some more Outland. We're starting off here in the maze in the city. Won't or get to if you're really smart, part, but we're gonna or have if you're a, really smart, you should call it the labyrinth. The labyrinth. We're gonna have a labyrinth of a time. I was trying to think of a good pun, but there's no good pun with this. We all change colors yeah. in the labyrinth zone. Actually, <laughs> oh, I knew that was coming. I, as soon as you said labyrinth, I knew that was coming. <laughs> The quote stays in the Sonic games, please. <laughs> well, I am blue. I mean, right we're probably now. going to hear it again when we get to I am blue Sonic Sonic Generations blue. when we get to Seaside Hill, so. <laughs> Except I won't be drowning in Seaside Hill when we get to Generations, and if I drown somehow in Sonic Heroes, then I'm gonna question that. <laughs> it's the N of 42. I think I might have asked this. Do you actually go for all of them? No, because a lot of them you actually do have to backtrack for. Okay. I go for as many as I can because I do give you little things here and there. Like, I think once we hit 20, that will give me a little Aww, boost to my, uh, my, f my, my abilities. Basically, I think, it, I think it is 20. When you get uh, 20 Mark of the Gods, then it allows you to actually stick to walls longer. Which is really useful for trying to platform for longer periods of time. I think it's 20. We'll find out, because I do remember I got it during this run. And, oh, he didn't do the ground pound, but I guess he, I see why he didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, because there's money on the side. Oh, yeah, now because I do. it's Wario, that's right. Why do you wow. have money? <laughs> but the funny thing is, I'm trying to fight the dragon legit here, but actually, there's a bomb next to him. Just slap him right into him. It's a one-hit KO. <laughs> Want to kill that thing in one hit? Just do that. And I'm juggling it for no reason. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? I like, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a blow up in my face. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. And a one, and a two, and a nine. I got no idea what I'm doing with this bomb. We don't know anymore. <laughs> Moving on. So this is the maze. Actually, there's a couple of different ways you can go in this maze. But... Mm. If you want to get all the money, usually you usually have to swap between the two paths. You usually have to go up and down. In fact, I'm actually missing some money, and I'm going to backtrack for it, probably. Yeah, I realize it, then I go back. And it's on the bottom path, that's why I didn't notice it. And then... There we go. There's like a one doubloon. Well, it's a big thing of money, so that'll give me a good amount of cash. Hmm. I love how you call it cash when it's just. I know it's cash, but they're gold doubloons, basically. <laughs> it's not dollar bills, sir. I'm getting myself some yen. No, it's, it's not even yen. yen. Exactly, that's why I'm saying that. It's, like, it's, it's called, called everything doubloons. it's not. What other money can we think of? Mm. Call it something it's not. Rupees? <laughs> yes, rupees. Mm. I, I guess cash will work. It's like cash money, yes. You're MVP. trying to hit him. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, screw it. I'm just gonna come over and kill Well, it was taking too long. If I could have done it, that would have been cool, but I don't want to be here all day. Nah. Don't blame you. And a swing and a miss. You suck, sir. <laughs> yeah, these guys don't know how they aim half the time. And if you go down here. Well, actually, you can't slide into this. You actually have to go outside and whack it from the other side. I'm not sure how your sword goes through the wall like that, but take what you can get. But that gives I you more I think I missed that because I thought the concept is like, I can't, I can't swing that. Honestly, I when I, I played this the first time, I thought you had to lure a bomb over there to get in there because mm. you couldn't slide underneath to kick the door open. I didn't think I your sword could go through someone wall. made a better Mega Man playthrough. I uh, watched a while back ago. Mega Man has finally realized he lives in a two-dimensional world where everything is in 3D. He can move around objects. <laughs> <laughs> which 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 Mega Man was this? This would have probably been a Mega Man 5 playthrough I watched a while back that Gemini Laser did, where he uh, got, he's got up so close to an enemy that he shot, and the, his attack went around the enemy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Attacking a. Living in a 2D world where your attacks are 3D, three dimensional. <laughs> oh crap! I just love to see one day in a 3D world, they, or not 2D world, 2D world, they realize, wait a minute, I can just walk around this. 
So uh, they could be a level in like two minutes instead of like Mega 20. Man just applies Paper Mario, won't you? Pretty much. <laughs> Actually, yes. I literally thought the only way you're supposed to kill this guy is by just, you know, just sliding into his foot. Yeah, no, that actually just does some damage, but that'll also trigger him to do other attacks, like slam his shield. Yeah, I was just like, I was just like, oh wait, the, the only thing that can hit him, I can, I can hit his foot, and then he throws up on you. Yeah. Although he will change up his uh, sure. puking, we'll go so to say, thing. he'll do. <laughs> he'll go ahead and shoot in the same color you are, which for him that's a bad thing because I need to be blue, or he can shoot with the out the opposite color. So he would be oh ready. Shoots boss. out red, no and that would be clever. A bunch Bosses of money. always have to make some kind of bad decision. That's how you beat them usually. Usually. Or sometimes they just sit there and just take it. Yeah, that too. Those are the wisest enemies. They just know they're gonna get killed, so they just don't even try. Well, actually, in this level, we're going to get ourselves another power-up. One of the more useful ones in the game, too. Another power-up? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Because there was a big stone wall down there, which is why we had to take the upper path to go into this portion of the world. If we actually tried to break down that wall, you wouldn't be able to break it. So we're going to be getting a power that will allow us to break down those kind of walls. Mm. Which isn't really used too much in the game. It's more used as a stun ability. But there are those off chances where you do have to use that stun attack to break open certain walls. Hmm. And actually, do showed us off here. Jump all the way to the right. What's this invisible wall? Emmett doesn't make any sense. Charge attack. I always forget there's nothing up there when you do that. But if you actually do hug all the way to the left, you realize there's an invisible wall. I have no idea. I just don't know why they do that. The mm. only reason that's coming to my mind is if you go over there without the charge <coughs> attack that you need, then you would basically be locked out of the rest of this level. So you would have to either find a way to kill yourself, which there isn't a way back there, or you would just have to quit the game to reload the level. Mm. <laughs> that so that's suck. probably why they put the invisible wall there. Jump, jump! Oh, missed it. Yeah, time platforming yeah. is needed. Lovely. Yeah. Red man loves his loves his money. Also, the heart's health. Oh wait, wasn't what isn't Jarrett your red man? Let's go with that. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Jump, jump. There we go. And this is a section where they expect you just to change fast. That's another part that's pretty hard for a lot of first-time players to get. Oh, the 16 that you need to get the Hold on extra vertical. vertical wall holding thing with Bobber. And what's 20? I actually, it's not like even numbers. It's weird increments like 16 and stuff. I'm not sure why they did that. Multiple of 16 four. Is a it weird... might be a multiple of four thing, but I don't know if you get anything for getting. Because Anything. 42 is a multiple. Yeah, because that would mean that. you get one for 20. Maybe it's multiples of 8 then, or something. something some really wacky, arbitrary number. Maybe just have favorite numbers and just pick them out. It's like, oh, I like number 16. <laughs> okay, let's give them visibility. It just went with all the developers' birthdays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just happened that one of the birthdays was on the 16th. So they decided, let's just go with it. Well, then, that means you wouldn't unlock anything from 30... 31 onwards to 42 because well there's that one there's weird guy that thinks his birthday is on the 40 uh, 42nd of the month and then you still have to convince him there is no I would such question thing why he was on the developing team <laughs> I would question so when's your birthday like what day does that fall on how do you calendar yes, how do you calendar cal I don't even I calendar <laughs> No, man, he does even calendar. 42 is an even number. He just does an odd calendar. Since when do you you do puns? Charge Anyways, attack. Charge attack. <laughs> and you do something in one of these segments of the right. Look at that. I was right for once. 
You were right for but, once. <laughs> okay, now you're the one with the puns. I honestly should have broke those hearts because of that um, uh, life crystal right there. Except you were going left instead of right. I went right for the hearts. Oh, okay. That's still a pun. Uh all right. Now, I don't know why they put those little ball things on the other side, because you can't get over there. Whee! But uh, this is the longest fall in the game. You know what's worse if you actually <laughs> die in that? If you die going down there, it's like, wee, and then you're dead, so your corpse is going down. So you gotta do that again. Whee! So it's not a case of wee, it's like, crap, now I gotta wait. Like, <laughs> I gotta wait two until minutes. I hit the ground. I gotta wait two minutes until I hit the ground, then I can try again. And not to die. I don't even think if you go to the highest point in GTA 4 and jump out of a helicopter, you would fall for two minutes. You would fall for like 20. <laughs> well, you, you get the idea. Oh, but yeah. now with the charge attack, we can explore the rest of the city, but we'll be doing that in the next part.